First of all, this was not gonna be your single, you know? It, it felt amazing when we wrote it. Um, you know, you never write songs trying to fish for a super hit, you know? Animals, we are here in the LATV studios with none other than Pedro Capo and our lucky contest winner, Rafael, and we're doing this awesome stuff. We're fans, get to meet the stars and ask some questions. All right, question number one. All right, how did you get started playing music and basically creating it? Ever since I can remember, I wanted to be on stage. I wanted to do music. I wanted to write songs. It wasn't until my father passed away in 94 that I inherited his guitar, taught myself the first couple of chords, and started writing right away. Well, I would say around you know 14, I started really dabbing into it seriously. I first played my first gig around that time. They wouldn't want, they didn't want to let me in the bar because it was 21 and over. I was 14. I was like, please, I'm on the fly, you know. So they let me in. Ever since I can remember, this is what I am. This is what I do. You know, it's 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 my job, but it's my hobby. It's my therapist. It's, it's you know, music blood. is everything. It's my blood. It's my blood. How do you draw inspiration when it comes down to your songs? You know, I like to I, I believe it's fair to talk about everything. I like to talk about love, about, you know, heartaches. I like to talk about funny stuff. I like to talk about social situations that, that concern me, you know, and, and try to deliver uh, some kind of, you know, purposeful message without being preachy because I'm not, I'm not a preacher. I'm not, I don't know anything, you know, I'm learning just as anybody else. But from my perspective, just trying to bring, you know, a positive, twist on, on life. So when it comes down to your video for Calma, how did it feel when you hit that one million view? Oh, amazing. You know, I, I gotta tell you, it's been it's been quite the ride because we, first of all, this was not gonna be your single, you know? It, it felt amazing when we wrote it. Um, you know, you never write songs trying to fish for a super hit, you know? We we felt like it was a cool song to come out with and, and uh, we were very surprised by it. You know, we were taken aback. I would lie to you if I told you I was expecting this to happen. You know, I thought it was a transitional type of song. But it goes to show, you know, that I feel like the world is in a state that people also want to listen to to positive, you know, lighthearted stuff, you know? Uh, um, the song really is about enjoying, slowing down our pace and enjoying, you know, the, the gifts that we have that are, you know, out of reach every day for free, you know, the blessings that we get every day. So there's a space, people, people, people felt the necessity or, or, or had that urge to connect with, with something, you know, light and sweet. Where can they find you online? Pedro Capo all over the place. Twitter, Pedro Capo, Instagram, Pedro Capo, Facebook, Pedro Capo. You shout out Pedro Capo three times, I'll show up. I'll check those steps. Pedro Capo, Pedro Capo, Pedro Capo. Pedro Capo, be And then he'll be there at your house. There Thank you, you so much for your time. Thank you, Dennis. Yeah. Rafael, then, man. Yeah. Totally. Thank you, brother. We'll see you next time here, folks. Ciao, yeah. ciao.